The all-new, battery-powered Toyota BZ4X is a compact crossover SUV. In April 2021, the BZ4X concept version of the vehicle had its formal debut. It is the first vehicle constructed on the ETNGA platform, which Toyota and Subaru jointly created, as well as the first member of the company's Toyota BZ Beyond Zero series of zero emissions automobiles. Toyota is getting ready to re-enter the electric vehicle market with the 2023 BZ4X crossover, which differentiates from Toyota's gasoline-powered SUVs with its edgy look. But, is the 2023 Toyota BZ4X worth buying? Let's find out in today's episode. So stay tuned. We may now see an upgrade for the Toyota BZ4X electric car after it failed to live up to driving range expectations and reduced its charging speed after frequent top-ups. Contrary to the company's previous all-electric model, the RAV4 EV, the BZ4X is sold in Toyota dealerships across the country. Both a front-wheel drive and an all-wheel drive variant are offered, with the former offering up to 252 miles of range per charge. The Volkswagen ID.4, Hyundai Kona Electric, Ford Mustang Mach-E, Chevrolet Bolt EUV, Kia Niro EV, Tesla Model Y, and Hyundai Kona Electric are just a few of the non-luxury EV SUVs that have just been joined by the BZ4X. The Subaru Solterra and the BZ4X were co-developed, and despite the Subaru Solterra's higher price and standard all-wheel drive, the two cars are almost identical. The BZ4X is available in XLE and limited trim levels, and either one can be ordered with front-wheel drive and a single motor or two with all-wheel drive and two motors. For $2,080 for either trim, dual motors and all-wheel drive is available for upgrade. The vehicle comes equipped with a panoramic glass roof, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and safe exit assist as standard features. Likewise, the Limited has 20-inch wheels, Softex faux leather upholstery, a motion-activated power lift gate, a heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats, a multi-view camera, and these extra amenities are additional features. The Limited's conveniences make the additional cost worthwhile, however in today's episode we'd stick with the conventional front-wheel drive drivetrain. The Volkswagen ID.4's regular front-wheel drive, single-motor configuration generates 201 horsepower, which is identical to the output of the Kia Niro EV and the front-wheel drive version of the Volkswagen ID.4. The all-wheel drive version has two motors, although power is only slightly higher at 215 horsepower. Compared to the all-wheel drive Hyundai Ioniq 5, 320 horsepower, and ID.4, 295 horsepower, this is significantly less power. Both the front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive models showed brisk acceleration according to the report, however you shouldn't count on beating any Teslas in a drag race. According to reports, the most powerful dual-motor version in a test track produced a 6.4-second run to 60 miles per hour, which is decent though not particularly thrilling. The BZ4X's steering offers a good amount of weighting, and the ride is comfortable over bumps without feeling excessively soft. A button on the center console may be used to increase regenerative braking, however the BZ4X doesn't allow real one-pedal drive, which are present in other EVs. The batteries in the two BZ4X powertrains are almost identical. The single-motor version's battery pack is 63.4 kWh, while the dual-motor model's battery pack is 65.5 kWh. The all-wheel drive variant's EPA range estimates are 222-228 miles, while the 242-250 seconds miles limited or XLE for the front-wheel drive, single motor type. The battery may be recharged in 9 hours using a level 2 source and the 6.6 kW onboard charger. With peak charging speeds of 150 kW for front-drive models and 100 kW for all-wheel drive versions, Toyota estimates that adding 80% charge at a DC fast charger takes little under an hour. A year of free charging at EVgo sites is also provided to buyers. In the city, the BZ4X can achieve up to 131 miles per gallon equivalent, while on the highway, it can achieve up to 107 miles per gallon equivalent. Our Dual Motor Limited test vehicle only managed a depressing 86 miles per gallon equivalent on the 75 miles per hour highway portion of our fuel efficiency test route. All BZ4X versions come equipped as standard with a 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality as well as a 7.0-inch digital gauge display. 
a Wi-Fi hotspot on board, cloud-based navigation, and wireless smartphone charging are all included in the system, which has a decent level of connectivity. Although the limited trim comes standard with a six-speaker stereo and Sirius XM satellite radio, customers can upgrade to a JBL system with nine speakers for a higher price. The BZ4X will come standard with a bundle of driver assistance systems, including automated emergency braking, lane keeping assistance, and pedestrian and cyclist detection, just like many other Toyota models. The following standard safety features are most likely to be present. Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian recognition, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assistance, and standard adaptive cruise control. Why is the Toyota BZ4X unique? It's the first real electric vehicle produced by Toyota as was previously mentioned. With a rakish rear hatch that almost looks more appropriate for a sedan than an SUV, sides that emphasize their wheel openings through black paint, and a front that makes little effort to hide the fact that it doesn't need a grille, the design is outgoing and flamboyant. For a typically traditional automaker like Toyota, it appeared almost too strange. The name, though, is peculiar enough to make up for everything else. According to Toyota, the BZ stands for Beyond Zero, the company's humorous term for its planned line of zero-emission vehicles in the future. The 4 refers to its size, which is the same as the RAV4, and the X refers to an SUV. However, it all reads like an alphabet soup that will make some people wonder if a product planner dozed off at the keyboard. Toyota salespeople will undoubtedly be telling each other jokes over their lunch breaks about how customers pronounce it incorrectly in the near future. Toyota BZ4X vs Tesla Model Y The 2023 Toyota BZ4X is less expensive than the Tesla Model Y. A new Toyota BZ4X starts at $42,000 for the base XLE, although you can upgrade to the single trim limited for $47,915, according to Toyota, which means you'll pay more than $20,000 less for one than a Tesla Model Y for the increased cost, you'll receive a front-wheel drive, single motor vehicle with 228 miles of driving range and 201 horsepower and 196 pound-foot of torque. The range is reduced by 6 miles, but for an additional cost, you can have an all-wheel drive dual motor version with 214 horsepower and 248 pound-foot of torque. The Tesla Model Y now easily outperforms the BZ4X in terms of range. Its performance variant reportedly has a range of 303 miles on a full charge, while the long-range variant boasts a range of 330 miles. You will pay extra for that range, though. According to Tesla, the starting MSRP for the 2022 model is about $58,990, while the starting MSRP for the 2023 Tesla Model Y is $64,900. Similar features are provided by each model. While the 2023 Toyota BZ4X's 12.3-inch touchscreen is smaller than the 15-inch standard touchscreen of the Tesla Model Y, reports claim that both can access common apps like Android Auto. That is prohibited by Tesla's exclusive system. Furthermore, it has a steering yoke that people either love or hate. However, they all have navigation, a variety of cutting-edge safety features, and roomy interiors. Both vehicles are made to get better over time thanks to over-the-air subscriptions on each. The ground clearance of the Toyota EV is greater. Not only is the 2023 Toyota BZ4X more suited for consumers who are cost and environmentally conscious. With an astounding 8.1 inches of clearance, the BZ4X is better at navigating muddy roads than lower-slung EVs. It also has significantly more ground clearance than the Tesla Model Y. It can also manage bad weather when coupled with all-wheel drive. Only 6.6 .6 inches of ground are cleared by the Tesla Model Y. Even though it might not seem like much of a difference, driving a lower vehicle can be challenging in bad weather and on rough terrain. To increase their efficiency and aerodynamics, EV designers frequently construct them with little clearance. Unquestionably, the Model Y's outstanding range is a result of its lower ground clearance. In some driving circumstances, however, it may impair handling and maneuverability. With that being said, do you agree that the newly upgraded 2023 Toyota BZ4X is a perfect blend of Toyota Prius plus Toyota RAV4? And what would you rather choose? The Toyota BZ4X or the Tesla Model Y? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, 
please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.